Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. We're doing a little Let's Sample series right now, and yes, you are looking at live critters crawling all over that little bush there. There is... this is called mealwood, and those, I believe, are considered lice, because with those we can make a lice loaf. What's it say? Uh, compact meal lice are compacted into a dense, immobile loaf. Immobile. <laughs> no longer moving, huh? So, I have... I've actually advanced the game a little bit since the uh, last episode to see if we can get into a little more research. Got into the farming tech, got all this done, including the planter boxes. And then got... let's see here... power? Some more power options available, some interior decorator options available, and we're working on liquid plumbing. We'll hit gas plumbing probably before the episode's over and move uh, sideways into, into here and see what else is, is going on. Let's see, I flagged this one for what reason? Uh, lavatory hand sanitizer. I, I had not tried to use that. That one I would like to try. Uh, manual airlock and the shower. Okay. Uh, probably next episode we'll try to get into a little bit of plumbing. But um, this series is not going to be an exhaustive one. It's just really to, to give you guys a chance to see, see the game. And when I do get time later, I'll dive back into a, a full-blown series into it. But there are a lot of things I noticed as I was editing the last episode. Just There's so many things that I didn't get a chance to really look at the details on. Like, for instance, food right here. We can make mushrooms low or mush bar which is made out of dirt and bottled water so we can make that food anytime we want it's possible it's going to cause diarrhea and do and you know it's just not a great thing to eat lice loaf however now that's a delicacy um, made out of meal lice and bottled water we'll grab the bottled water out of here boy the WASD moves so fast in this game and the lice obviously come off of this guy which I was able to get some planted so this guy right here there we go we can plant either a blossom seed or a mealwood seed and the blossom seeds I have not had success doing they've got a a very specific heat tolerance and I believe they want 75 degrees in Fahrenheit or less and I've not been able to achieve that anywhere well, there's 73 there Let's try one. I would think heat would rise and this would be even warmer, but let's go with it. Uh, food and planter box, priority nine. Um, right there. I've got plans for right here. Uh, let's go ahead and actually work on those plans. Furniture. Let's give everybody their own mess table. A place where they can eat and call their own. If you click on a little dude, in fact, this little dude right here is really severely stressed. Do we can we figure out why? Interrupted sleep. So he didn't get a good sleep. Dirty hands, grimy. Okay. Now when little noble here gets all stressed out, he tends to get destructive. Take out their frustrations on defenseless machines when stressed. We've got to deal with that. So let's right now where am I? Right there. Set the massage table and that is a nine yes so once this job is done whatever it is eating I'm gonna go up there and deal with that anyway these guys let's see let's go back here assigned is there a bed assigned yes a dining area that's what these are a clinic so probably a medical bed and a relaxation point a massage table so there could be potentially be a massage table, a medical bed, a cot, and a mess table for each one of these guys if you wanted to do that. If you didn't want to have to manually go through and reset whose turn it is. So something to kick around. Anyway, otherwise out on the map we've got... well let's go over here first. I cut out this chamber underneath here so we can start 
uh, letting the carbon dioxide drop down in. And when we get to the gas permeable tiles, which will be coming with a later research, be able to put these into different places and the carbon dioxide will float down to the lowest point. And then I put in this guy, the algae terrarium, which will convert carbon dioxide back to oxygen again, just like regular plants do. Which is kind of frustrating to me that all these other plants don't seem to do that as well, but uh, this one is specifically designed too. So kind of imagine the carbon dioxide's going in. Uh, we just finished some research and air bubbles are percolating back out. It looks like it's in liquid here, but in reality it's, it's gas. Um, research, we just finished this one right here? I think this one. Yeah, let's pop into this one. Get that one going. And then we'll get into our, our higher end uh, research. But, so we've now got the algae terrarium going, which uses algae and water. Algae is this stuff right here. And that's one thing you tend to run out of. There is a way, and I don't think I've got it even anything research here to show you, but you can convert slime to algae. This is slime right here. And clay. All of these are used for different things. Um, one thing to be aware of is that, just like the new compost pile over here lets off a burp of, of contaminated air once in a while, this area is considered barely breathable. This stuff does too. That's what all this contaminated oxygen is over the top of this contaminated water. This slime here is constantly letting off toxins. So as you tunnel into this to go harvest it, it's going to start dumping green air into here and contaminate your whole place. So you're eventually going to want to get into the research of this guy, the mechanized airlock, which will create an airtight seal that maintains atmosphere pressure between areas. So that you can put up a, a door here that's actually airtight. We've got a door available, but it's not. This one does not block gas or liquid. So that's just a... Uh, a placeholder in a sense to, to make a door just to you know to create a barrier but it's not going to help us in that situation but there are ways to make more algae when you run out so you can keep these guys going and, and keep converting everything and I notice we have something living over here they look like fish but this is oxygen this is air so I don't know how you want to think about this you could think of this as a kind of like the opposite of RimWorld. Rim, RimWorld is a two-dimensional plane shaved off horizontally on you know across the ground. This is a horizontal or a vertical plane, two-dimensional, carved out of a three-dimensional world. So beyond this air, there's solid mountain again, and and behind us, watching this, there's solid mountain behind us, and we're just seeing a, a slice through this world. So they could be walking around on surfaces that represent something in the back or whatever. Anyway, these guys are puffs. A puffed is an extremely buoyant, <laughs> full of oxygen apparently, full of uh, hydrogen or helium, um, non-aggressive species. The puffed rids itself of excessive pathogens by excreting lumps of slime with each breath. So I think what they're trying to say is this is one of the sources of our slime here. So we don't want to harm them if we want to continue to generate slime, to continue to generate algae, to continue to convert our carbon dioxide into oxygen. Real simple. Also notice this guy over here. He is a, stop that, a morb. This morb is overheated. It is 109 degrees in here. He doesn't like it. Um, an agile, disease-ridden invertebrate. It is attracted to the decomposing carcasses of deceased organisms. So things have died around here. And he, uh, he's one of the critters on this world. This right here, Absolite. It says it is negative 457 degrees. I thought that it was hot, but apparently it is cold. I'm not sure about that. What are you? Same thing, different color. Okay. So, is that truly a source of cold? That's interesting. Uh, click on it. Special is all I get out of it. Details. No. 
Uh, solid material and special. Hardness melting point is huge. And resource type special. Okay, well, don't know what to make of that. If that is not a mistake and that's not supposed to be hot instead of cold, then I would suspect that you could go in and tap into some of that and it would cool down a room, giving you a good growing temperature. That's something to think about. Anyway, we put this blossom seed in there and plant. And we've got four out of our five uh, tables built. We have how many of us right now? One, two, three, four. I've got five set up here, five set up here, because we have another uh, duplicate available. So let's go ahead and choose that and get going. Food, 8,000. We're going to be running out of food here real soon. We, we can go to those, those mush bars. We can do that. Choose duplicate. <clears throat> Rosalind is great at digging. Is flatulent. And... Uh, they tend to disrupt each other when they when they let off a little toot. Um, amphibious, amphibious, both of these are. Uh, swim well. Uh, move as quickly underwater as they do on land. Okay, that's good to know. Naturally robust. Good at tinkering. Tinkering has to do with research? No. Jobs. Tinkering. Deliver? That's athletics. Digging. Building. That's construction. Sweeping. Where is tinkering? There we go. Compost is tinkering. Only. Interesting. So good at making compost. That's not a great uh, uh, job description there. Loud sleeper. That's not good either. I think we're into these two, and I kind of like the plus seven digging. Even though we've got the flatulence to deal with. Decor expectations. There's something else to keep in mind. If the place is ugly and the expectations are very high, the stress levels are going to go way up. So you want to be aware of that. Make sure you've got lots of artwork and whatnot to accommodate those characteristics. 10 is not bad. 15 I've seen often. I've seen some higher ones too. Um, sometimes this Rosalind feels like she'd have to keel over to get people to notice her. Hmm... A little comment about each one. Let's go with Rosalind. Yippee! And print. Alright, we are still... We're just finishing nighttime right now. Don't know if she will... Well, she will go and get some sleep. So, I bet you little noble here has a bladder issue. What were some of the stats there? No, it wasn't small bladder. Getting up to use the bathroom may be why not getting enough sleep. That's something to think about. Anyway, let's start our day. And I guess we're going to have to get some of this stuff made. Mush bar. Let's do two more. Takes us up to 10,000. 1,000 each, I believe. Let's think about that. Vitals. Here's something we didn't get into last time. You get to choose what you want to do with them. So, sort stress. Uh... We'll have a nervous breakdown at 100. Change per second. So what is with the down arrow? Oh, that just takes you to their, their stats. Okay. Fullness. How much food? So when they're going to get hungry. How many calories a day do you want to give them? Until full? Do you want just 1,500? Or any other particular amount if you need to go on some serious rations because things have run out? So we'll go with this for now. But here's a way to have a little bit of control over them. Reports tell you what's going on. Oxygen. We've added 45 kilograms. We've removed 55. So we're in a net negative right now. Oxygen generation insufficient. Power. We added that much. We've used this much. So we're, we're in the positive there. Power wasted. That's interesting. That's right. The batteries do lose power. Hmm. Calorie generation stress change, and travel time and idle time. Okay. What was all that? I don't know. Uh, research center is idle because we're only using the... Uh, what's the word I want? Novice. We're not using any of the intermediary. Inter intermediate because we're not into this category yet. We could jump into there if we want to. 
I could click on this one and it'll start doing this one and then go straight to that one, but I want to get the basics going so next time we can experiment with these. Um, Alright, so what else was I noticing? We didn't finish these guys. We got into temperature. So, ah, okay. Cold is blue. Where'd those go? Looking for the, uh, okay, let's turn this off so I can see the pictures right here. This is saying it is very cold. I would have thought it'd be hot. Ah, there it is. It is cold. Interesting. And right there. Whereas this is not super hot. Just a little over 100 degrees. That is really cold. So if we were to tap into this, let's play with that. But we got to get into the rest of those still. But let's let's see. I've not done this before, so I'd like to see how this works too. Let's take you all the way into there. Food shortage. We want... Whoa! You guys ate a lot. Okay. Let's get some food being made. We don't have any lice loaf available yet. Just noticing what's going on right here. And I want to go through these this episode too. If I were to say fabricate a lice loaf and we don't have any lice. Insufficient resources. Uh, microbe musher. So that's no good. Click on it again it goes away. Let's... Go ahead and make a whole gob of those horrible things. Dirt and water. Mud patties. That's what they are. But let's... Actually, you know what? I, I always forget to choose the uh, the priority when I do these things. Let's do it correctly this time. Let's dig at a priority of 9. And let's just make it too high. Just enough for them to walk into. And then here, we'll make it 3 high. We'll even take some of this out. And see... Nearly impenetrable... Oh, so maybe we can't actually bust that up. Oh, this is oh unreachable. Unreachable. Did I read that wrong? Well, we'll see what happens when they get there. We're going to build this floor as well as bust this out, and they'll start to get over to this area. We'll experiment with this this episode. Otherwise, 3,000 calories available, so I'm guessing everybody did get something to eat. I moved this over here, so let's tear, take this one out. Deconstruct. Let's store the food up here where the tables are. And that will eliminate a lot of running back and forth. Okay, so we're going to experiment with that temperature-wise. Let's go over here to our light overlay. Let's just know where all of our lights are. Lights are good. Let's go back to... Well, we'll, we'll go to there last. Let's go to liquid plumbing. Don't have any yet, but it'd be like the electrical plumbing where we can get a chance to see all of our uh, all of our conduit and, and what have you. So liquid plumbing. Here's our gas piping. Think of duct work and where all that is hiding behind. Decor overlay. So what is adding to our decor rating? Green. What is taken in natural plants? Apparently, yeah, right in here. What is taken away? So where do we need to add pictures to make things prettier? Be nice to give them a nice area to sleep. So let's pop into that real quick. We did get some of this researched in between episodes. So blank canvas. Let's pop that in there, there, and there. It will have a effect of six tile radius. So we should have some overlap in there. And that'll at least let them be in a good place as they sleep. Maybe that will have a long-term bonus on them. Skill increase happens quite often. In this case, Rosalind just gained one at tinkering. Um, no research tasks selected. So research we got done? We did. Where do we want to go next? And does the world keep turning? No, but truly is pause. Okay. So temperature. This guy is a hand pump or a foot pedal fan that will cool things down. This one cools it down, uh, cools the gas piped through it. So air is a, uh, air conditioning, but it outputs heat into the immediate vicinity. So in that case, you'd want to have this in a sealed room somewhere else with a duct going into it and a duct going out of it. So a cool air leaves, but the heat remains behind in that room. Uh, pressure management, there's our me uh, me mechanized airlock we were wanting. There is a liquid valve and gas valve, so it has to do with regulating uh, pressures. Uh, sanit 
Sanitation Sciences. Let's get into here for our plumbing episode tomorrow. This guy? Yes, yeah, get that going. Otherwise, I'd like to get into this one too. So let's see if we can get these two done next. That will be enough to get the uh, plumbing going <clears throat> and filtering out the sewage and get it, turning it back into water again. And speaking of sewage, Jack Sparrow asked me to consider putting a lid on this somehow so that when they have their little accidents, which they really don't have once you've got a good bathroom system going or any other spills that might contaminate this water, it'd be nice to not have it flow into here. So what I'm thinking about to do that with is just to toss something like that up. We'll do that and we'll make that a nine. They'll build this little thing real quick. We're going to spill a little bit over here, but once that's done... Actually, that's one too many, isn't it? Let's deconstruct one of those. No, cancel one of those. Right there. Anything spills down here is going to hit that barrier and stop. Which will essentially make... They have to be standing over it and, and having a little accident to, uh, uh, to, to get it in there now. But, 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 what was I talking about? Sanitation, I'm pretty sure I was. But we'll get into that most likely in tomorrow's episode. I'm just kind <clears> of <throat> looking things over right now. Now that's spilling in, but we got that rebuilt. Okay. So this is spilled over here. I left that one on purpose to kind of contain it from going over. As they come down to get bottled water to put into things like this and the food and what have you. Speaking of food, let's add some more of that. Make sure we get some extra. Um, it talks about refrigeration. So apparently these will spoil after a while until you get refrigeration going. Which is another device that lets off lots of heat. Which we have to you know, be aware of. This area is getting quite warm. But um, I feel like I'm just rambling right now. What was I saying about this? They, As they need bottled water, they'll come down and grab this first, and pretty soon this will be gone, and they'll go all the way down and start grabbing from here. So that's not going to be wasted. Anyway, we'll eventually tap into these guys, too. This is fertilizer, but there's a way... Does this guy actually make fertilizer? It does. This makes fertilizer from the contaminated dirt that comes out of here, and I've set this guy a priority 9 to house fertilizer and contaminated dirt and <clears throat> we could have it uh, have them store algae here too for that though there'll also be algae used over here and probably I meant to put one over here as well let's see how we're looking over here gases yeah we're starting to build up so let's let's put one of those in oxygen right there algae terrarium click over to the nine because I want it done like you know now and like so we still need to build this floor, and we need to build that ladder. So let's prioritize this group here and get that done. Uh, that one's not as important. There we go. Pulling water out of here. Oh, that finished it. Okay, that's done. That means that deconstruct. This can go away. And dig. This can go away. You kind of level this area off a bit. We can even put a... Uh, floor in here. Kind of clean it up. Okay. 9,000 calories. I am guessing they're using 2,000 a day each. So we must be going through 10,000 a day. This is going to be deconstructed soon. We're going to be storing in here now. Priority 9 edibles. So mush bars is all we have at the moment. Otherwise, what are we doing here? We started working on this. These are all 9s, right? Like I can go to priorities right there. There's a priorities for the whole map. There's another one of these buttons. In fact, we got to decor only, and we stopped there. So priorities, these are fives. That whole area is fives. None of these are real important, so they're just jobs I've set up for eventually. These I want to get done. This I want to get done. And these I want to get done. And then you also have priorities on the machines themselves. I want these guys to supersede all of the fives of just we'll do this when we get time we've got to have power going we've got to have food being made we've got to have research going on so <clears throat> that way you can yeah, a little more so than even here of telling them what you want to to them to be working on 
So I, re I really like that. I wish that uh, a little more flexibility like that was in RimWorld. In fact, there's something else that was in RimWorld that I wish was in RimWorld, put it that way. We gotta take a look at this soon. Is the idea of a, of a, of a bridge, a wire bridge. If I need a separate circuit with a switch right there to run something else and don't want to have to build up over here and go all the way around and come back so we don't cross the wires, we've got a wire bridge. And you can rotate it, <clears throat> move it around as you need to, cross over and around other pathways. Though it does say it's limited to not being able to be used in a floor. So it's still got to be up in the air to do it. But there is a way to cross paths with all of them. With power, with plumbing, there's a liquid pipe bridge, and with uh, ventilation. What would that be? Um, I'm looking for gas. Are they all in here? They're all in here. Okay. So we've also got the... Hmm. <clears throat> I'm seeing the gas pipe and I'm not seeing the gas bridge. That is a thing, right? Let's think here. Gas? No power. Gas. No bridge. Ah, there you are. Gas pipe bridge. Why didn't that show up? Ah, oh, there's a scroll bar. Okay. There you are. Gas pump. Gas vent. I'd never noticed these in my last playthrough because I never found the scroll bar. So what else? Let's go through these real quick. These kind of sat there all last episode and didn't get a chance to really talk about any of them. These are the kind of the tutorial of the game to get you going. So we've researched several things. We can turn all of these off. Let's hit that one. So all the research is done. Fetching water. So duplicates can seek out and collect water and other liquids up to two tiles away and deliver it to a building. Oh, I see. They can reach out two tiles away. Okay. Um, I guess we're... Yeah, okay. So basically, WASD moves you around. Uh, mouse wheel moves you in. H will return you to the printer. So think of H as home. Whoop. There we go. Um, tab is your speed change. Space bar is your pause. And X that one. Contaminated water. I think that's when somebody had a little accident. That's probably when that popped up. But otherwise, contaminated water is right here. Um, is a yucky substance that emits contaminated oxygen and can cause disease on your duplicates. Small accidents can be cleaned up by clicking and dragging with the mop tool, while larger bodies may be worth filtering. Dirty water also stresses out any duplicates that come in contact with it, so it is best removed quickly for your colony's safety. Next one. We've got... move back over here so we can see what's going on. Duplicates are generally self-motivated and do not need to be individually managed in order to perform tasks in the colony. You can use the dig tool on the build menu in the lower left of the screen to begin planning job tasks. Once you have a few placed, your duplicates will automatically get to work for you. And duplicates must have accessible paths to, to the job task in order to work. When placing tasks, keep in mind that duplicates can only climb obstacles two tiles high and are themselves two tiles tall, which is why we did this two tiles high. If you are unaware of a task, if you are unaware, unsure of a task, you've placed as accessible, select a duplicate and show, and click show navigation. Oh, okay, let's, let's do that. So click on this real fast little dude right here. And what do we want here? Details assigned. Ah, show navigation. And I guess I stay there. There we go. So basically the white line shows you everywhere that they have access to. They can't... Well, they can go in the water if, if they want to. I've had them go underneath the water to grab some materials. In fact, I'm curious. Well, there's nothing in there. I could say sweep and we can watch that happen. Anyway, we are starting to get into here. Not quite there yet, though. Soon we'll be able to see if this is letting off cold and we should be able to pop this in and see blue starting to spill out into here. 
That's what I'm curious about. Anyway, ooh, we have crawly little critters. Okay, let's harvest those. And did this work over here? It did not. See, overheated 73 degrees, it wants 70. All right. So that might land over here if this cold starts dumping in, which we are a teeny tiny bit exposed, but I'm going to say not enough. Ooh, we are able to take this apart. All right. What does that make? Ting. It makes an abyssalite. 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 What do we do with an abyssalite? Well, that's the same screen we had before. It is very cold, though. Can I store that somewhere and have it absorb heat? I don't know. There's a lot to this game that you get to kind of explore on your own. Harvest priority nine. Do that. Let's put in another Muirwood seed. These are good for three runs. Harvest remaining three. After that, they replant them from a seed, and you've got to wait the whole growth process again. So it might be a good idea to put these in in stages. Get one batch going, wait for two harvests, get another batch going, wait for two harvests, and that way they'll, they'll be constantly uh, making it. be nice to get up into here as well eventually. We could do that. Um, continue the same pathway? What is this up here? This is oxygen breathable. That is vacuum. If we break this, all the sand will drop in. If you got contaminated water up here, you don't want to break that. and Have all that sand come in, contaminated water following it. But this is available to us, so let's do something like that real quick. I'm thinking that's a good spot right there. Uh, that's probably one too many. Cancel that one. Put in tile. One, two, three, four. You see how four does work really well. We've got our pictures underneath there. We need to get those built. If we do that, all this is going to get dug up anyway, and we'll be able to plant them down here. Um, let's prioritize nine, at least one of these. Let's see if we can get this one done. Uh, we have a little bit of daytime left. Let's see if it's possible to get that going so we can see that this time. Otherwise, what else is there? that I have missed. What are you? You're oxygen. Um, we've got not only contaminated oxygen, we've also got chlorine. There's some. So, no, that's not. There it is. We've got extremely toxic chemical in a gaseous state. Flammable. Okay. Unbreathable. And it's temperature. This is not good. Now, I'm thinking that there are, boy, refinements? Biodistiller, water, fertilizer maker. Fertilizer maker uses contaminated water to produce fertilizer versus using contaminated dirt to produce fertilizer. But it seems like there is something that will detoxify. Um, what if we got into this guy right here? What is it? The air deodorizer. Reduces the threat of disease by filtering contaminated oxygen. Okay, so that's just dealing with oxygen. That's the stuff right here. I don't know that that's going to do anything for toxic gases. There must be something in here to allow us to take care of that. Otherwise, it may be just something that you get your air handling equipment out and you find the pocket and you move it off to somewhere else and into a sealed room or something. I'm not real sure. How? Oh, will you look at that? He just made a slime. Contaminated water, there. There's a slime, which will turn into this. Interesting. Okay, we got a blank canvas done. No, it started. No, what am I looking at here? What's the bar? What is the, the bar of these three right here and that ladder, okay. So all of these are in different stages of being done. So maybe this is actually beginning to be uh, painted. I'm not sure. Who's our painter? Jobs. Artist. Pierre is a five. Let's go through these real quick. We don't want anybody hello, doing jobs that they're not qualified to do, or they'll do a very poor job of it. Um, 
tinkering two, two, one, one. And tinkering's compost is all there is, so just give it to the two that know what they're doing. I keep wanting to WASD over. Uh, research, no <clears throat> power. Athletics, negative one. You're not going to make much power. Uh, sweep. Boy, you're really only good at harvesting, digging, and combat. Hmm. No, you're just going to have to get some some uh, get some muscle built up. I need you uh, need you capable of doing some things. So that's pretty good right there. It looks like your most important stuff is out over here, just like in RimWorld. Otherwise, a lot of munching going on. I was hearing that's over here. Rosalind's getting something to eat and now has to use the bathroom. Here's Pierre, and he is working on his masterpiece. Little Noble is building it. Ah, body break. And uh, this one is not going to work, so may as well just dig this one up. Though, we're here. All right, let's see if this helped. It did not. That's grams. I was looking at 300 degrees, so 81 degrees. Interesting, there's no transfer. Absolute ab abyssalite, abyssalite, abyssalite. So it's very cold, but it's not changing the temperature of the air. Hmm. Well, this is still alpha. Those little things you would think would be worked out eventually. But it sure seems like this, you just have a blue cloud just working its way through the room right here. Enough so that you would need to seal this off to control it because it could make things too cold. That's, that's a huge difference in temperature. That should be making things, that should be freezing things at least through here. So that's, I'm going to guess, is something that we're going to see change over time. Seems like, well, I took a look at the, uh, it wasn't the Steam page, it was somewhere else that talked about this game scheduled to be released in the fall of 2017. So I don't know if that's beta or if that is a you know, finished package. Anyway, hey, we've got a masterpiece. Masterpiece is adding 22 to the room. Ooh, decor? Oh yeah, big difference there. So some artwork spread around. We'll make things look a little better and make it more fun to work in various places. Stress, Rosalind. Let's set up Rosalind to go and uh, get herself a massage. And look at her face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> their facial expressions are something else. They really concentrate on their work and and they get embarrassed and lots of different facial expressions. Kind of fun. What else is there to do right now before we call this episode done? I'm going to after this one I'm going to run it for a while and maybe start setting up some basic uh, plumbing so that you get a chance to see what was that oh that's something else I wanted to show you these guys right here this is sandstone all of its stats plus some kind of a buried object in there that just fell out of one that was up in here another mealwood seed in fact that's because there's plants up in here okay so let's tell them to plant that that guy. Mealwood seed, yes. And yes. And again, one more try. No change in temperature. 86 degrees, 75 degrees, 73. So where could I possibly find 70 degrees or less? It's just, it just doesn't exist. So there must be some way to deal with cooling advanced filtration uh, filter out the things I'm not seeing temperature temperature modulation okay but this temperature okay so this one right here will cool down air that is passed through ducts into the room okay so we got to get into that to be able to cool down probably an enclosed area with ducts going in and out and cooling everything in between to be able to make those particular plants. Since there's so much extra work to get the 
blossom seed to work, I would imagine it's quite a bonus to actually have one. So one bristle blossom per harvest, uh, barbed fruiting plant that produces an edible bud. Okay, so yeah, it must make it must make better food. So other than that, are we at a shutdown point here? Somebody made a stinky. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> And with that, I think we're going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. I'd appreciate it if you did the like and subscribe down there if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.